Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into how to model a pressure vessel like this one using SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. We we'll select the front line, then the center line. We we'll sketch the center line to the middle, out to the other side. Then take the ellipse from the center to the other side up to the top, exit, then uh, trim this part, so we will define this side which will be 260 millimeters and the other side too will be 500 millimeters. So we take the line sketch the line and we'll define it and this will be 100 millimeters so now we need to offset it so this will be six millimeter which is the thickness of the cylinder and we reverse it then okay so now we need to close the gap we take the line So we close it in order to revolve it. We go to feature, revolve, then OK. All right. So now we need to create the cylinder. So we take this side, sketch, take the line, then convert entity, take this line too, then we convert the entities. So we go to feature, extrude, and then uh, we go to blind. We take 600 millimeters, that will be the length, and then OK. All right, we almost have our cylinder. Then we take the top plane, and then go to reference geometry. Select the plane. So we'll create another plane. So this will be 350 millimeters. So we flip the side right in the middle, then OK. So now we'll mirror it. And then uh, we go to feature to mirror. So this is the feature we're going to mirror. And then we click OK. So now we have our cylinder. So, so let's go to the top plane and we need to create another plane. So we take the plane and this will be 360 millimeters. Then we click OK. So let's hide this one. So we are going to use this plane to sketch our circle in the middle. We define it and this will be 100 millimeters. Okay, so let's offset it. So we reverse it. Then, okay, so we go to both extrude. So we'll select up to surface and this is the surface we are going to use then we click OK all right it's done so we we'll use again the same plane to sketch a circle so we we'll define it this will be 170 millimeters and then again another circle right here then fine so we go to feature both extrude and then we'll select blind and this will be 20 millimeter thick then okay so we'll hide this uh, plane 
So we are going to use this side to sketch our circle to create the wall. So first of all, we need to locate the center. All right. Okay, so and this will be let's say 20 millimeters and then uh, okay so we create a circular pattern based on this circle so this will be let's say six instead and then okay so we go to future extrude and then we will extrude it right up to the surface okay then click ok so now that is done so we need to create let's take this plane okay so all right then sketch circle in the middle right here Go to feature, cut extrude. So we select blind right up to here, then OK. So you can cut it off to see. All right, so the cross section shows that there's a hole that goes there. Then we close it. So now what we need to do now, we take the front plane and we we'll sketch an, an angle and let's define it. This will be 60 degrees. Okay. All right. So now let's exit the sketch. So we go to future reference geometry and we'll create a plane. So we'll click this line and this corner then we have a plane then okay then we use this plane to sketch our circle we define it this will be 200 millimeters and then again let offset it and reverse. Okay. Feature. So we select up the surface and that's the surface. And on the other direction, we instead take 50. All right. Then we click OK done so again we use the same plane to cut through the wall we go to feature extrude blind okay then uh, So now we are going to select, let's hide this plane first.
so we are going to select this side okay so let's go to sketch circle all right this is the middle so we'll define it this will be 280 millimeters yeah right and then again right in the middle up to here all right so we go to future extrude uh this will be 30 millimeters then okay all right so now we are going to use this side to sketch the wall. so first of all we need to locate the center and then we take this one right in the middle we'll define it and this will be let's say 25 okay so we go to feature we go to extrude cut so this will be up to the surface this one and done all right so we go to circular pattern command we select this edge and then we go to feature and face we take this and let's choose the equal spacing and this will be six then okay yeah now it's done so let's take this plane and then we are going to mirror this part so we select mirror and then we could see that the plane is highlighted here then we go to future to mirror so we are going to select the future that we are going to mirror all right and then this one as well so we go down here geometry to pattern so those two has to be checked then uh, click ok all right here we have now we need to create the legs so we'll use uh, this plane to create another plane and then let's say this one will be 700 millimeters so we we'll flip the side and then okay so let's turn it all right then uh, we go to sketch rectangle okay so we are going to define it and this will be let's say 150 and this one will be 110 then okay so we need to offset it uh, reverse so this will be let's say 10 millimeter thick then okay now let's go to feature boss extrude uh, up to surface all right then okay so let's hide this plane first so we have a hole here so let's close it so we'll go to sketch okay we need to click the sketch first click this side convert entities then offset okay 10 millimeters all right 
then OK. So now we need to close the gap. All right. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. So we go to feature. Was extrude. Up to surface. This will be the surface. Then okay. Done. But one thing is that it has to look like the one we see on the picture. So what we're going to do. right here on the top so let's define it this will be let's say only four millimeters then we go to feature extrude cut so up to surface then click OK all right we almost have it so let's use this side we go to sketch rectangle from this side we we'll sketch our rectangle up to here okay so let's define it this will be 30 millimeters And that one will be 130. Then, okay, extrude cut. Blind. Okay, I think it's done. And now we need to create the circular pattern. First of all, we need, we go to view. Uh, hide and show temporary axis then we have our axis here then we go to circular pattern command then we will choose this axis and then uh, we go here and then we are going to give it a certain number which will be three so because we need three legs then uh we go to feature and faces and then let's drop this menu so we will select the part that we need to pattern and i think we need to see them somewhere here all right let's hide the temporary axis I think we are done with our pressure vessel and then the next thing we need to do right now is maybe to give it a different appearance which probably could be red the red color is usually due to red oxide primer or paint which offers good anti-corrosion property especially for carbon steel vessels so i think we will stop here and um, please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time for more content bye